Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to me doing this. Alexa, switch Xbox on. Okay. I'm achieving that with a device called a Broadlink RM Pro. Uh, if you've been around my channel for a while, you'll already know what that is, and you'll already have a good idea as to what it is I'm about to do. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you will not, and therefore I am going to explain it to you. Uh, basically, the Broadlink RM Pro is going to uh, act in place of your Xbox remote to switch your Xbox on and off and get your Xbox to do things when we talk to Alexa. Uh, we are going to do this by tricking the Broadlink into doing a whole bunch of stuff it was not designed to do. Uh, that means there are some complications. First of all, uh, Broadlink have released an official US skill, but haven't bothered to do so in the UK. Why? Who knows? Broadlink obviously hates the UK. Uh, there is, if you go to the description, a, a tweet. I'd really like it if you could do me a massive favour. Retweet it and like it for me. Uh, it will hopefully spur Broadlink on into doing something about it. So the consequence is, thanks to Broadlink, that this is two tutorials for the price of one. Uh, one for my US friends and one for my UK friends. Uh, my UK friends have two choices. You can either fool Amazon into thinking you are not in the UK, because that would be obviously the easiest way of doing this. Uh, you can tell them that you live in a church in the United States of America if you follow this tutorial here. Uh, of course, there are consequences to doing so. Please read the video's description carefully before you take that decision. Uh, it isn't irreversible, you can just put it back anyway, so it's not a big deal. But don't come telling me off uh, if it stops something from working. If you don't like those consequences, my British counterparts, there is a second option. Uh, you could instead use an Android device as a go-between between Alexa uh, and the Broadlink RM Pro, and then you won't need the official Broadlink skill. Uh, you can do that in this video, that's what I'm going to teach you today. Uh, so you can either follow that video that I already pointed at, uh, or you can follow this video uh, and have no consequences, but you will need an Android device. Uh, my US counterparts, my cousins in the US, can follow the second part of this tutorial to get the Xbox working with the Broadlink RM Pro, uh, and that will be at this time here. Uh, this marker. Look at the time. Uh, anyway, with that being the case, let's go. So what we've got here is two pieces of software that I've installed from the Play Store. The first one is eControl, second one is RM Plugin. Uh, eControl is the software Broadlink originally released so we could turn our mobile phones into remote controls. Uh, so the eControl software just controls the Broadlink RM Pro and therefore you can use your phone as a remote. Later on, someone came up with a genius idea of creating this thing called the RM Plugin. Uh, it looks a little bit like Tasker, but it's not. The RM plugin is simply software that allows Alexa uh, to control the Broadlink RM Pro instead, uh, amongst a whole host of other things. Uh, and the easiest way to teach the RM plugin is to teach it to eControl first and then share the information to the plugin. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open eControl up and we're going to teach it the Xbox remote. Uh, now, if you've watched my channel before, you'll know that we go to this little plus icon up here and then go to add remote. And then normally, after you've picked your remote that you want to control, so first of all, I'm going to control my Test Lab RM Pro. Uh, that's the RM Pro that I've already set up. Um, we would normally pick a remote control from this little lot here. What I'm actually going to do is press this button in the top right-hand corner of the screen, which will search a database uh, for Xbox. This means I don't have to have the original Xbox remote, I can use somebody else's because these kind people have uploaded their Xbox remotes to the eControl cloud so that I can download them. Uh, so the best one I found was from Mr. Al, so this, this one here, Xbox One remote. And that has imported the Xbox One remote and I can now press these buttons on this remote to control the Xbox One, which is ace. So straight off the bat, I can now use my mobile phone to control the Xbox One. And what I want to do is I want to share that information to uh, the uh, to Alexa. So all I've got to do, so I've got my Xbox One remote there, so if you ever want to control it, you just click that button. Uh, but I want to share it to the RM plugin. So I'm going to go to this menu button here, top left, click share, and then share to other phones in WLAN. I'm actually sharing to the same phone, I'm sharing to this phone. So it's now sharing the data, and if I open up the RM plugin, it should import the data. 
You need to give it a, uh, a couple of seconds. There we go. So it's importing the data from the Broadlink app now. And I should find if I go to my code list, I should have a bunch of Xbox codes. There you go. All the Xbox codes have been imported into the RM plugin, which means the RM plugin can now control those devices and it can advertise them to Alexa. So if I go to uh, tick this box for Alexa Bridge and then enable the Alexa Bridge, uh, I'll also auto start on boot. So whenever this Android device boots up, it will start advertising devices to Alexa. And then go to Alexa device list, add Alexa device. Uh, and then on command, single device, selected code from the Broadlink app, and then I just find Xbox on off. Okay. I can press this button here to test the selected code. I don't need to, I know it works. I'm going to tick that box there. And then the off command, single device, select an existing code from the Broadlink app. And I've got Xbox One power off. Okay. Tick that box. So I've now got an on command and an off command. Uh, the device name is currently RM Pro. I need to change that to be Xbox One. Okay. Tick the box. And then come out of this. And all we do is we ask Alexa to scan for new devices and it's job done. It's as simple as that. If the Broadlink RM plugin doesn't import your devices when you first open it up, you'll need to download the RM plugin from my website. Uh, there is a problem with the current version as of today, uh, which means it's not importing the codes from the Broadlink app. If you download the version from my website, you'll be able to get it all working the way you want it to without a problem. Uh, you should only need to do that if he hasn't fixed his bug by the time you come to implement this. That's it. That is uh, option one. That's the easiest way of doing this. So if you live in America or you're a liar and you've told Amazon that you live in America, then you can use the IHC app. Uh, now, this is exactly the same as eControl, only worse, much, much worse. Uh, basically, Broadlink designed this to replace eControl, but it's much worse in almost every way. Uh, the only advantage it has is that it connects directly to the official Broadlink skill, which means that if you create a television in here, the Broadlink skill will pick up that television. But they only did it for TVs. They didn't do it for lamps, they didn't do it for Xboxes, they didn't do it for anything useful. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to trick it like we trick everything. Um, I am going to go uh, to my device list. I'm going to select my Test Lab RM Pro. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to create a TV. I'm a liar. I'm not going to create a TV. I'm going to create an Xbox. Uh, but they don't need to know that. So I'm going to pick a Cura. I'm going to say yes, my TV has been turned on. I press button one. Yes, it responded. Volume. Yes, it responded. Volume. Yes, it responded. And now I'm going to rename it TV to Xbox. So this is the word we're going to use to call uh, the device. Uh, so when we say Alexa, switch the Xbox on, she'll know what we're on about. So I'm going to call it Xbox. I'm going to say I'm done. Uh, and then I'm going to skip all this stuff. Skip, 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 skip. No prompt. Uh, so no prompt means it won't keep bugging you every time you open this up to teach it things. Uh, so this is the handy part. So we now have a TV remote called Xbox. Uh, and all we have to do is retrain these buttons to be the Xbox buttons. So at the top here, you've got a menu. And if you go to learn, you can learn these buttons again. So on off currently doesn't have anything assigned to it because I skipped over it all. Uh, but if I click learn again and press the original button on the Xbox remote, it will learn that button. Uh, and then when we get Alexa to scan for devices, she'll find something called Xbox that she can then switch on and off. And it's as simple as that. So that's all well and good, of course, if you happen to own the original Xbox remote. If you don't, you're probably cursing me saying, I just sat through a whole tutorial for this. 
Uh, well, I have some good news for you. You could actually teach in place of the Xbox remote, you could teach your Broadlink device using another Broadlink device. Uh, this is a Broadlink Black Bean and costs about £11 less than an Xbox remote. Uh, it also will, of course, give you the added bonus of being able to control infrared devices in other rooms. Uh, so you could have one of these in one room, one of these in another room, and be able to control infrared devices all over your house. I'm going to use the Broadlink Black Bean to teach my Broadlink RM Pro the Xbox remote code. Uh, why do I need to do that? The reason is Broadlink are not very good at this. Uh, Broadlink's IHC app, which I have installed on this phone, uh, cannot search for codes. The old app, the eControl app, which I've installed on this phone, can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the eControl app that's installed on this phone to download the Microsoft Xbox remote uh, to then transmit its codes from this to this device, which is listening using the IHC app. The IHC app is then going to teach Alexa how to control the Xbox remote. Stupid, ridiculous, kind of ingenious in a way. Uh, so let's do that now. So if you haven't seen eControl before, this is their old application which is capable of downloading remotes. And I've downloaded the Xbox remote. If you want to see how you can do that, you can watch uh, earlier on in this video, uh, this timestamp, and I'll show you how to do it because I showed the British people how to do it. Uh, so I have already installed the Xbox remote on this phone. Uh, and this phone has got the Xbox remote installed on it on IHC, because you saw me do it earlier. So I'm going to go to Learn on this remote. Uh, and you can see the on-off button is waiting to be learned. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to press Learn again. Which has put the Broadlink device into learning mode. And I'm going to press Power On. <laughs> fooled you. So I have now fooled that remote. Um, so... This thing over here actually thinks it's just learned a television frequency. In fact, it's just learned an Xbox frequency from this device here because I used eControl to send the infrared frequency to this device so that IHC would pick it up. IHC can now teach that to Alexa. It's now saved it. I, if I ask Alexa now to scan for new devices, she'll find a device called Xbox uh, and I will be able to switch the Xbox on by saying Alexa switch the Xbox on and it will send the on command uh, Because that is a toggle button uh, Up here if I want to be able to switch the Xbox off There's a whole host of other complicated things that we have to do sadly again because Broadlink are not very good at this yet uh, I'm waiting for them to make this easier at the moment. It's reasonably complicated and if you watch this tutorial here Point at it uh, if you watch this tutorial here, uh, it will walk you through how you can do things like switch the Xbox off uh, or add other things like up, down, left and right. Uh, so watch that tutorial if you want to. If all you want to do is switch your Xbox on, you now know how to do it. Uh, and I would probably recommend you do that and then just use the control pad because that's what the control pad's for. Dude, that's what the control pad's for. Paul, can I control my PlayStation with this? Uh, no, you can't. I'm really sorry. The PlayStation is Bluetooth, not infrared, and therefore these things cannot control it. Uh, that could maybe be a topic for another day, but for now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help support my channel, there are links to both my Patreon and my PayPal. I'll see you next time. I'm going to start that again too. They marketed it. Oh. Marketed it. Marketed it. Get it. Super duper. Super duper. Super duper. <laughs> uh, well, like this. Well, like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>